Ooh. Hey everybody. I'm gonna keep this live up because I just I just can't. I recorded the whole video and then I tried to um like edit it and it was it was it wasn't trying to do what it needed to do. So I'm just gonna go live so y'all can ask me questions. Um but yeah. Hey, Roll a Mile and My Shoes TV. Hey, honey. Hey, let me tell y'all why y'all here. So, when we had first, okay, so my big daddy, right? That's my fiance. So, my big daddy, he had um, went on the Airbnb app and he had booked us this condo that's a hotel room at the Chula Vista Resort. So I know a lot of people was confused and it wasn't making sense, I'm breaking it all down to y'all. So he booked that shit through there. And I'm gonna say this, if you plan on going to the Chula Vista, um, I had no problem with the Chula Vista, but if you, you know, you wanna go there, I highly recommend you to book through the Chula Vista instead of an Airbnb because the Airbnb is gonna charge you double of what the Chula Vista was going to charge you and you get the same shit. It's the same rooms and everything else. So when we get there, we, uh, it's a key card. So you put the key card in the door and it turned green and it made that noise like it's unlocking. So when we went to go push it down, it didn't open right away. But at the time, like it opened right after that. But at the time I was thinking in my head, like, okay, when me and big dad went to the DR, our room did the same thing and it was because our door was swollen. It was a wooden door, just like this door. So I was like, well, maybe the humidity swelled the door up. Thought nothing else past that. Went in there, checked the room. I didn't find any cameras. I checked all the little sneaky places that they could put. I'm like, okay, cool. So we go in there. Um, we literally change into our uh, swimming clothes because we're going to the resort. So, um, I don't know. We had to check in at four o'clock and the resort closed at seven. So we had three hours to have fun. We went to the resort, played in the water, did what we did. And then we came back. Now, when we came back, the door did the same thing, but it opened again right away. So we get in there. We got dinner reservations. We're getting dressed. Everybody in the shower. Everybody do what they got to do. We get dressed and we tried to open it. Well, my fiance, he tried to open the door. Now, I be pranking my big daddy a lot, and I thought he was pranking me because when he opened, he was trying, you know, it looked at like, hold on, okay, you you trying to pull my leg. So then I was like, move, let me see. So I tried to open the door. I said, well, damn, he ain't lying. This ain't no prank. So then I'm like, oh, hell no, hell no, because every single horror movie I've ever seen flashed before my fucking eyes, right? And then I'm sitting here like, well, let me see what's looking, what, what the window looking like. So the window only opens up this much and it's a screen there. So I look down, but I'm just now realizing, girl, we on the sixth damn floor. Where are you jumping to? Like, where are you about to go to? So I was like, fuck. So then I went, I was like, okay, maybe the door going to work now. So I tried to open it. It ain't do shit. So then my big dad, he calls, uh, we going to name this lady. Her name is Laura. Her real name is Laura. Because I'm about to ask y'all for a favor. I'm going to go on TikTok and say the same thing too. But he called Laura. And Laura picked up the phone. He gave me the phone. I said, excuse me. We rented this Airbnb from you. And we are trapped inside here. We can't get out. And she said, what? No one has ever. She, she just had a book in the day before. She was like, what? Nobody, nobody has ever said that before. Well, you should call maintenance, call the front desk. They'll get maintenance to come to look at the door. And if they can't fix the door, they'll move you to a new room. Kate me updated and hung up the phone. No, no respect, no remorse. No, I'm so sorry that happened. The lady never checked in with us after that. We initiated every conversation with this lady after this. So then we're steady fumbling with the door. I'm like, oh, no. Before we get to fumbling with the door, I call down to the front desk. I don't even know what room I'm in. I call the front desk. I'm like, hey, um, we locked in this room. We can't get out. <coughs> and the lady was like, what? And I was like, shit, we stuck in this damn room. We can't get out. Ma'am, I need to get out because my baby, 
her formula is in the car. I forgot to grab her form. I shouldn't have to do all this to open the door. Why are y'all renting? Why, why do y'all have, why is nobody checking the doors? Why is nobody checking the doors? Cause why am I in this situation? And I told them, I said, if this place was to catch on fire, what are we supposed to do? Because there's no, there's no door on the side here that uh, that is connected to another room that you can enter that way. It's either the window or the fucking door. That's it. That was it. And I said, damn, either way we fucked. And I told them, I said, hey, my biggest fear is something traumatizing happening to uh, my children. But as of now, in that moment, my biggest fear changed. It changed to me having to watch something traumatizing happen to my children. Can you imagine that place on fire? You in there, you can't get out. And like, it was on fire and your kids is getting burnt. Like, can you imagine having to watch that? No, y'all done traumatized me. Y'all, I, I, hell no. Like, what the fuck? So then I'm banging on the door. Um, Cause I, call, I, had, I called them and they was like, okay, we're going to see maintenance up. I said, okay, five minutes went past. Ain't nobody there. So I'm on the door banging. I'm like, help. Screaming at the top of my lungs, slapping the door. The door, the whole door is made out of wood. I'm slapping the door. I'm like, hey, 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 somebody, somebody, please help us. Help us. We can't get out. Help us. Nobody can hear anything. Nobody heard shit, honey. We were still in that goddamn room. So then I said, fuck it. I ran back to the, to the phone. I called the front desk. They don't answer. I called right back. They don't answer. I call right back again. They don't answer. I say, oh, hell no. And then for you to dial now, we was at the water park. So our phones is waterproof. But when we made it back to the hotel, our phones was on 1%. So then I'm trying to charge my phone. I get a message from my phone saying that it's water in my, in my charge report thing. I can't charge my phone. Um, I got to wait. And then it say emergency override or something. I'm clicking that. My phone won't even fucking connect. I can't do shit. Can't do shit. Got this, what, $1,300 phone. Can't do shit with the phone. Can't do shit. For you to dial 911 on the damn thing over there, you got to press all these fucking numbers and shit to get to, why well, I just can't dial 911. Why well, I can't do that? So I see security. I click security. He picks up right away. I said, hey, I can't get out my room. I'm about to lose it up here. I'm having a whole panic attack. Get me the fuck out this room. Get me and my family out this room. He comes up there with the maintenance. And I'm like, thank God. We finna get out, right? No, no, no. The maintenance man putting the key card in the damn door and you can hear it. The little, the little latch thing, you can hear it. And he, I could see the handle going up and down and he can't get in. So not only can we get out, but he can't get in. We stuck. So then he's pushing the key card and now he's hitting that motherfucker with his shoulder and he still can't get in y'all. Still can't fucking get in. Um, they did. They did give us a refund. Um, the Airbnb lady. At least that's. I don't know how to move this. How to move this? Oh shit. Um. So he couldn't get in. About ten minutes of him fumbling with the damn door. Um. I'm still over there trying to get my phone because now my phone is dead. I'm trying to get some juice to um call 911 because i don't know what the fuck going on with this damn room phone they got in here can't even call them so then they finally get in and i'm recording the shit y'all when he tried to close the door the motherfucker wouldn't even close you know the little two little hinges that when as soon as it hit the door frame how it just fold so that it can go into its position and lock it won't even go it's stuck on the fucking frame it's stuck on the frame and people were saying we was we was lying about the the lock thing vertical i showed y'all in my story y'all that shit that the shit was never locked it was never fucking locked still to this day this lady ain't apologized to her she ain't do shit so then i went down there to go talk to mr garrett but mr garrett he um wasn't there so i had talked to another guy by the name of joe and i'm gonna put um joe's email in the description box when i end this live Please, if you can, if you got some time to spare, if you really care about another human being, can you please email this man at this email address that I'm going to give y'all? Because he said if, if I can get enough complaints, 
he can send it to the higher up people for them to review for them for the higher people to take her to the review board to see um if they gonna end a contract with her and it can happen especially in this type of situation here so I'm going to drop his information down there. I already filed my report. I just sent videos, photos, and all that shit. And I had told him, I said, hey, um, I'm just not a nobody. I'm a somebody. Um, I, I'm close to 200,000 followers just on TikTok. I don't think you want to play with me. I don't think you want to be the person to, because I'm, I'm really good at story times, telling the truth that is. And I can definitely get some attention to this uh, person. So I think this lady, she needs to have her... Um, her card revoked with these folks because she didn't even care about another human being. She didn't even care that I had kids. You care about you going to Milwaukee to go camping with your family. But you know, I got a family in here and you don't even give a shit. She didn't even ask us, are we okay? Do we need anything? Nothing. Then when we had to reach out to her and say, hey, we want a refund. And she didn't write us back until the next day. Talking about she going to call up there to the Chula Vista to um, Nation, close that door. Um, close the door. Mm -hmm. Thank you. She um, she doesn't deserve none of this shit with that, cause that's that's bogus. Like, it gotta be something. It gotta be something with her, cause we are Airbnb hosts. I don't even know if y'all know that. Super host at that. I could have did more. I would have done more. I would have been calling, texting, all type of shit. Hey, can you check in with me? How's the kids doing? How are you guys doing? Um, can I ask what happened? What led up to this? Oh, I would have did some. God damn, you the bitch just left us. Just gone. Just gone. The name, the lady name is Laura. When I get all her information, I'm gonna post a whole video about it on TikTok as well as the email stuff to this. But I need y'all to also go to Laura's profile and go basically sum my story time up and go write it up under her shit. Because she out of order for that. And it's crazy how she's she's rated five stars. She's rated highly stars and shit like that. And she just had a guest in there. And they checked out that day when we came in there. And then housekeeping came and clunked the damn room. And it's just crazy how everything worked for them folks. But it, don't ha but it happened to us. Like... I'm talking about housekeeping just left because when we opened the door, I looked at the floor. It was still, it had still had uh, dew on it and I could see the footprints from when they walked out. They was just there. If it was a problem, why they didn't encounter that problem? Why that shit had to happen to me? I'm sitting up there in that damn room losing my goddamn mind. Losing my fucking mind. And then I couldn't even sleep last night, y'all. I swear, I tossed and turned the whole damn night. I had a nightmare after nightmare after nightmare after nightmare until the sun came up. Until the fucking sun came up. I ain't never in my life been locked in no damn room. And when I went down there to go talk to the manager that night, um, I had told her, I said, shit, if I wanted to go to an, if I wanted to be locked in the room, I would have booked an escape room. At least I wouldn't been that goddamn scared. Like, I got two kids under two. What I'm supposed to do? Throw my kids out the fucking window? Like, come on, man. Make this shit make sense, man. And then there's some other shit that, that's going on on the back end that I can't talk about because if I have to take this up to court, like if I have to get my lawyer involved, I'm willing to do so, but I can't share that type of information. But what I will share with y'all is the batteries did not die in that door. It was unlocked the entire time. What was wrong with the door was some screws was loose on the inside and on the outside. The ones that was that was loose on the outside made the metal piece. Instead of being tight like this, the motherfucker had went back and was stuck in the goddamn piece. So no matter what you did, you weren't getting through. You was about to break the frame. That's what we was about to do, break the frame to the door. And for the people that were saying you're supposed to push, you push when you go into the room. You pull when you're going out the room. Like, I don't know if that's making sense, but y'all, oh, mm -mm, mm -mm. hell no, I'm gonna have to see a therapist about this now. Now I, now I can't, now I can't go to no damn room. No damn room. Without feeling like I'm about to, I, that memory gonna keep playing in my head. I was really sitting there banging on the damn door talking about help me, we can't get out. We can't get out. I can't even get my kid. I can't even protect my kid. I can't even get my kids out this room. How do y'all rent shit like this to people? 
how? Like, how How do you... How, why don't nobody check the doors? Why don't nobody... Like, how? We did it to Airbnb. We did that shit already. Um, I'm trying to get her contract taken from her. Um there at the Dells. I'm trying to get her contract taken from her. That's what I'm saying. I need y'all help because I can do it. I could keep writing emails myself, but it'll make it go faster. That's why I was asking, can people make this video go viral? Because I need as many people that is willing to help me, help my family by getting this lady contract revoked with Chula Vista Resort because you should not be in the Airbnb business if you don't even care. Like, you don't even care about who's staying in your shit. You don't even care to come evaluate your shit. And then I'm looking at the door, and it looked like it's been fixed on quite a few fucking times. So I'm just trying to figure out why y'all ain't buy a whole new damn door. Y'all clearly been having problems with this shit. Like, how, like man, I... I I really was fucking locked in a goddamn Airbnb. I ain't never, never. I ain't never been locked in a damn room. Let alone the Airbnb. Like, how the fuck? How the fuck? Y'all, I can't make this shit. I don't know why I be going through all these crazy ass things. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. I wonder if I can comment and, um, How do I comment? Oh. Her, our money, y'all, we paid. Listen to this. We paid almost $500 to stay for not even 24 hours. Check-in was at 4 p.m. And then check-out is at 10.30 a.m. Not even full 24 hours. And we went into that room to get in the shower and to change to go to dinner. We ain't even make it to dinner. By the time we got out that damn room, every restaurant was closed. Every fucking restaurant was closed. All our plan, we were supposed to go zip lining. We were supposed to do rock climbing. We were supposed to walk the strip. We had plans, y'all, like plans. Like we was, we had went to the old time thing and, get, and took them pictures um two years ago but now we got cc and cc has to be in the picture so but that's what we was trying we couldn't even do that couldn't even do that on top of it being father's day on top of it being father's day what a shitty ass father's day we had oh fuck you get locked in a goddamn room and you can't get out and nobody can get in I don't think y'all understand my mental capacity at that time. I was fucking panicking. And I ain't, I didn't show it in front of my kids, but I was panicking. And then I recorded every single conversation when I was, uh, when I only talked to the lady once. So I had recorded the entire conversation of what this lady told me. Because I am willing to take it to the highest of the highest. Do you hear me? Like, if I got to get my lawyer involved, I would get my lawyer involved. I sure would. I sure in the fuck would. I'm not trying to make it there. But if I got to take it there, I would take it there. And like, I feel like Chula Vista, they should be able to have it to where you can just make a complaint like I was trying to do. But now I got to email these folks and get so many emails for people to be like, OK, these folks not playing. Let's look into this. Y'all should hold her accountable. I understand y'all should really have something with that because it's on y'all property. It's on y'all premises, right? Like. Y'all can suspend her shit. Y'all can terminate that contract with her. Like, it's a whole protocol. It's a whole, it, it's a lot of shit that comes with being, with, with being a host on Airbnb. Like I said, we done did that shit. We have Airbnbs. I'm, I'm in the Airbnb business. I know how the shit goes. Like, but for her to do that, honey, I don't know. I think she need to go reread her goddamn contract. All that shit she signed when she did the Airbnb. I think she need to go look into that because this is crazy. <laughs> Honey, I was trying them. Things was stuck. That's what I'm saying. This was not the first time that this shit happened. It's just we had got it real bad. 
I sure am. So I also did also uh, uh, did a, a, a incident report. I filed an incident report and nobody files incident reports. Please people file incident reports because if you get hurt or something happens on someone else's property, always file an incident report because when it's time to sue you, that's how you sue. You got proof. It's in the pudding. It happened right then and there. You're supposed to do it. So I went down there and did incident report. Let me tell y'all what security told me. He came to take my information um, for the incident report. And he was like, okay, so, cause he came in the elevator with the maintenance man. So he was like, okay, so what you, what you filing the incident report for? I said, excuse me. He said, I got to write it down. Like, what do you want me to put down as to why you filed an incident report? I said, sir, what part of me and my family was trapped held against our will stuck in his airbnb condo slash hotel room for over an hour do you not understand what what part don't you understand and you was there you came to try to open the door both of y'all was throwing y'all shoulders into the door what you mean you don't know like what you don't know I'm like man these people these people crazy she did, she did, she did, she did, she did see money. She thought she was going to get it. So I played my cards right, and we was writing her from my fiance's account. And now all of a sudden, you know, because uh, when we wrote her last night and said, uh, update, they changed us to a new room. Um, and then we wrote back, we want a refund. I got all of this shit. I'm keeping all of this paper trail because I'm not playing. And then... um she didn't write us back until the next day and then she wrote us back her what she wrote back to us was um i'm going to reach out to the chula vista and i'm going to make a report and i'll let y'all know still again no sorry no i apologize no how are y'all doing nothing nothing still to this day nothing it's been over 24 hours and fucking nothing and then all of a sudden, a few hours ago, she writes us talking about, I'm going to issue you a full refund. Um, you should be able to uh, receive the money back by tomorrow. I told y'all it was double the price on my TikTok. Shit was double the fucking price. If you ever plan on going to Chula Vista and you plan on getting one of their condo slash hotel rooms, because it's a condo, but it's a hotel room. If you plan on getting one of them, Go directly through Chula Vista because it's half the price of what the Airbnb people is fucking charging y'all. If we would have went through Chula Vista, we only would have paid $250. But booking through Airbnb, it was double. It was almost, it was like $2 from $500. Crazy. So, um, that's the story time, y'all. I'm, I'm about to end this live and I'm about to, um, put all his information here. Exactly, exactly, Ex it fucking exactly. Like all I could see was like the room on fire and my kids screaming in agony and help and I can't do shit. If I throw them out the window, that's the last time I'm gonna see them alive. If I, if I, if I stay, if I stay here, I watch them. I watch them until they take their last breath. Who the fuck want to go through that? And I understand that that did not happen, but that could have happened. Then what? Then what? Seven people would have been taken off the map like that because a motherfucker don't care. They ain't want to go check. I think they should be checking shit. Like, I'm telling y'all, when, when we was in Minnesota, I had an Airbnb out there. And I had this lady. She came from a whole nother country. She came and she did not understand the way how our door handles was. I was pregnant with CC, and I had Juicy and Connie with me. I'm pregnant as shit. Hair all over the place. Ain't even dressed. Hell, Juicy got his shoes on the wrong feet. I made it my duty to get the fuck out of the damn bed and take my ass over there to show this lady how to open the door. I ain't even have to do that, but I did that. She said, hey, I can't get in. I said, don't worry about it. I'll be there in five minutes. Pull it up with my kids. And she looked at me crazy as hell. I said, no, ma'am, because I want to make sure that you get this right. 
that's the type of host I am. Like, I want to show you. I want to. I want to let you know that I, I really do care. Like, I fucking care. That's why I got into the business because I care. Y'all, this shit is crazy. Like this shit. I I can't make this shit. It seems like every time I do. I at this at this point I should just stop expecting for a normal day because I ain't gonna get it. I ain't never had a day where I wake up and nothing. Nothing went crazy. Everything went right. I got my way the whole day. I ain't never had one of them days. I promise you, every day is something. Every day is something. But um, I'm going to put Laura's information in the description box. Y'all go write a review for me on this whole situation here. Hell, you can even write like y'all owed y'all owed him an apology for them being locked in that room. Something as simple as that. And get enough attraction to that. To, I'm going to get enough attraction to this lady thing where she's going to eventually uh, reach out to us. I want to see how long it's going to take. But I want people to understand how cruel this lady is, how emotionless this lady is. That's why I'm about to go over there and make a review. And then I'm going to put the information to uh, Joe's email in my description box as well for y'all to write him and, and say what y'all got to say. He's going to forward every single email that comes through about this situation to his higher people so that they can put her in front of the review board and uh, take this up with her and potentially end her contract with them. So therefore she cannot rent her, uh, her condo out under Airbnb anymore. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to try to like, I'm about to go out here in the nature and go hug some trees and, and touch some grass. Cause I need to come back to reality. Um, yeah, I need to come back to reality because I, I do shit, shit. I was locked in a fucking room and I couldn't get out. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't even fucking get out. Like, what the fuck? Usually I have my windows up. I got my windows down. And I'm, y'all, I'm fucked up in the head from this. Like, mm-mm, mm-mm. It could have been worse, thank God. It wasn't, but shit. That was enough for me. I hope it was enough for y'all. Y'all to do y'all research on this shit because that shit was not no good feeling, especially if you were a parent and you brought your kids into a situation like that. So um, I'm going to leave all the information in the description box. Thank y'all for coming over here and listening to my story time. And thank y'all so, so much to the people who did not take it as a laughing matter or a joke. Uh, thank y'all because this shit was really real. I'm over here really fucking crying. This shit is not made up. This shit, I like. I will still keep y'all updated on what happens to Laura if we make it up there. And um, yeah, until next time, Banks Game. I love y'all and bye.